and for today's look, I was a little inspired by this weather. Um, it's supposed to be spring or soon to be spring, but the weather has been a little schizophrenic. Um, it's gloomy, it's gonna rain this weekend, it's sunny, it's hot. So uh, I guess it's kind of like spring inspired and also inspired by the whole trend going on with the glitter and the glitter cream eyeshadows and the glitter this and the crystallized lips and so on glitter. I wanted to recreate a look where you can use this mixing up liquid by Mehran uh, using the pigments that I have. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you at the end of this. I've already prepped my skin so I'm using the Jouer Anti Blemish Matte Primer and for foundation I'm using the Jouer Matte Moisture Tint in the color Chamomile. Um, I do have other highlighters or concealers for under the eyes that I've been using but I went back to this Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. Still my favorite. Um, I feel it covers even though I don't really have it. For blush I'm using the Essence Silky Touch and Baby Doll. I am using my MAC uh, Give Me Sun Bronzer, of course. And then um, for a little bit of like just highlighting-ish slash contouring, I did the Kat Von D palette today. So let's go ahead and start with the eyes. I'm gonna use the May Ron Mixing Liquid with my MAC Reflex Transparent Teal. Um, I do believe that this is a limited edition. I'm, I'm not really sure, it's been a while. Um, so basically what I do is I just do a little tiny bit in my Petri dish. So you, I already have that teal color in there. I did have black in there too, but um, I'm gonna put a little bit more of that Reflex Teal. And these used to come in huge packaging or um, containers and now they've minimized it, so I feel like I don't really use this as much and this has lasted me forever. So I'm gonna go ahead and prepare that already in my Petri dish. I'm gonna prep my eyes first with the Shadow Insurance by Too Faced, and I'm gonna use my fingers to prep that onto my eyelid. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Morphe 35N palette, and first I'm going to take a Light color, I'm gonna use this top color right here just for the highlight area. And I'm using my 224 brush from MAC. I'm gonna go ahead and take my 242 brush from Makeup Forever, it's a blending brush. And I do want to kind of keep this like warm slash spring-ish, so I'm gonna take this color right here. I was gonna take this one, this orangey color, but I, I feel like this works so much better with the teal pigment. So I'm gonna go ahead and swirl a little bit of that on the tip of the brush. And I'm gonna use this just on the crease area as my transition color. With my Luxie Small Tapered Blending Brush, and this is a 231, it is very dense, so it's really good for carving out on the crease and creating that um, defined crease, cut, what is it, cut crease. Um, this is perfect for that. And I'll be taking this chocolate looking color here, right a bit next to the gray, and just lightly swirling the tip of the brush, and then doing this Blending it very lightly. So I really want to elongate the eyes, so I'm actually taking this crease um, color, the dark brown crease color, a little further out and like pointed uh, towards my, my, uh, the end of my brow. And again, you want to be careful and you want to be very precise just lightly using the tip of the brush. And if you notice, I have it at an angle. Um, you can do it straight on, but you wanna be careful not to uh, press hard or put any too much pressure on your brush. Otherwise, it'll 
come off really, really harsh and it won't be as blended. Hotter than the sun, burning me deep, saying your name leaves me weak. Boy, I need you. I'm going to go back with that Mufi brush that I use with the, the orangey tone and just grabbing a little bit of product to blend this out so it looks more diffused. I can't stress this enough to always hold your brushes further back and away from the ferrule, otherwise you have full control of the brush and you're over buffing your product versus you lightly actually blending it. So make sure you hold your brushes further back um, so it'll give you a lighter application. So I feel like I want to deepen this up a little bit more. So I'm going to take, <laughs> I'm going to take this black color on the bottom, um, just very lightly onto the crease. Now I'm going back with the 224 brush that I used as my highlight. Um, color and just lightly blending around the edges. Then I'll be taking my 239 brush and that Petri dish with the Reflex Pigment Teal color. Just patting it down. You don't want your product to be too wet or too dry, so you want just enough on the consistency. If your product is a little too wet, I usually have a paper towel next to me just to clean off. Um, the product and then start over and then just lightly dipping it in the areas where you notice it actually coming onto the brush without it looking so wet. Now what you want to do is go ahead and pat it onto the lid. I'm holding on to us. I'm holding on to so now that I have that on I'm going to go back into that blending brush from Makeup Forever, just using this orangey tone once again. And I'm gonna use this on the bottom to really have that nice smoky effect. So now that I've smoked it out on the bottom with the orangey tone, I'm gonna go ahead and take my Essence Gel Eye Pencil, and this is a waterproof pencil, um, just along my waterline. With my 219 MAC brush, I'm gonna take that same dark crease color that we used at the top, and then smudging it on the bottom. Just gonna use a little bit more of that mustardy color in the inner corners here. And then I'm gonna use my fingers and taking a little bit of the reflexed pigment and teal, using it on the inner corners. I'm gonna take my Kat Von D Tattoo Eyeliner and wing this out. Then I'm gonna go ahead and take my Smashbox X Rated Mascara. And since my last video, um, I did use the Naomi Lashes from Lena Lashes, and I am super, super in love with these lashes. Uh, I love the thickness, the fullness and as well as the length of it. So that's what I will be using. I feel fierce, super, super fierce. Usually after I apply my lashes, I like to do another coat of eyeliner on top of it, but since it's still drying, um, I'm gonna go ahead and start off with my lips and I've already prepped my lips with the Jouer Lip Enhancer. And today, I wanted to do a little nude, so I'm gonna use the Dose of Color, and this one is called Bear With Me. All right, my 
lashes are now dry, so I'm gonna go over it again with my Trooper eyeliner from Kat Von D. So to end this look, I'm gonna go ahead and use the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in Wills to highlight. So I'm gonna take my fingers and just rub a little bit. I usually like kind of like rub my fingers together like that and then just lightly patting it down the nose. A little bit on the cupid's bum. And then just like on the high points of the cheek hair. So it goes really well with more tan complexions, I guess. Usually when I use this, I like to go back with my beauty blender and then just lightly patting it. So it doesn't look, you know, like I use my fingers. So this is your final look, aside from my crazy hair. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm really trying to push myself um, to using different colors and brighter colors. So I hope you guys are able to recreate this look and if you haven't done so yet, do you subscribe at the bottom, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye guys.